If the hazards in the work environment cannot be completely eliminated or substituted by using safer alternative materials, tools, or machines, other control measures should be used to reduce employees' exposure to such hazards. Controlling the hazards at the source by engineering methods is an effective measure widely adopted. Engineering control measures include Enclosure of the hazardous work processes to reduce employees' exposure to the hazards, thus minimizing the adverse health effects. Enclosing the process of rock crushing in a quarry can prevent employees from contracting silicosis by the inhalation of silica dust. Using enclosed machines for disinfecting endoscopes can prevent employees from developing occupational asthma due to inhalation of glutaraldehyde. Employees should be isolated from hazards or work processes which cause hazards. Automation or remote control of operation may be used where necessary to minimize employees' exposure to the hazards. When removing materials or plants containing asbestos, isolating the removal area from other work areas to minimize the spread of asbestos through the air can prevent employees from contracting asbestosis and mesothelioma. Using insulating materials to isolate heat sources such as hot water pipes or steam pipes in kitchens or cabins to lower the ambient temperature of the workplace can help protect employees from heat stroke. Providing noise barriers can lower the noise level in workplaces nearby, thus mitigating the risk of employees suffering from occupational deafness. Isolating infectious patients, for example those with avian influenza, in appropriate isolation wards to control the spread of bacteria can protect healthcare workers from being infected. Hazards such as dust or fibers in the air can be reduced by water spraying to lower the risk of inhaling these substances by employees. Spraying water in construction sites when vehicles pass through to reduce the suspension of silica dust in the air can protect employees from silicosis. Using the wet wiping method properly in construction and demolition works to suppress asbestos dust production can prevent workers from contracting asbestosis and mesothelioma. A good ventilation system not only brings fresh air into a workplace and provides a comfortable work environment, but it also helps extract harmful substances from the environment to safeguard employees' health. Ventilation in the workplace can be affected by natural or mechanical means. Mechanical ventilation usually relies on mechanical equipment to draw air into or out of a workplace. If the substances are rather hazardous or their sources are more localized, supplementary local exhaust ventilation should be used to ensure that such substances are effectively eliminated or reduced to a reasonable level in the work environment. The negative pressure ventilation system adopted in isolation wards for infectious patients can prevent the spread of pathogenic microorganisms to infect healthcare workers and other patients outside the wards. Installing local exhaust systems at appropriate locations in kitchens to extract hot air and steam outdoors can lower the temperature and humidity therein and help protect employees from heat stroke. Using exhaust fans to extract toxic gases inside pipes and blowers to supply fresh air in confined space work, such as underground pipes, help prevent accidents caused by the inhalation of toxic gas or oxygen deficiency. Placing the exhaust hood of a local exhaust system near the fume-producing source during welding processes can prevent employees from poisoning through breathing in hazardous fumes. <laughs> 